Welcome to Excel YouTube Magic Trick number 97. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook Magic Tricks 91 to 99. Hey, Trick 97, we're going to talk about the AVDEV function. I've talked about the standard deviation STDEV function quite often, but AVDEV measures the same thing, but in a slightly different way. They both, standard deviation and average deviation or mean deviation, they both measure the spread of the data, the variation in the data. They also tell us how fairly the mean represents the data points. Now, average deviation, here's how it's calculated. Or here's our oil times from um, a sample we did. So this car took 11 minutes, this car took 55. Now, to calculate the mean deviation, I'm going to click in the cell and hit my F2. Oh, what's the ABS? Hey, that means the absolute value of whatever this individual data point man minus the mean, which is the average function. You'd copy those all the way down. Notice that I have randomizing data here, so the data is always changing. You come down here, you add them up, and then you divide by the count how many individual items. And that's how you get the mean deviation. The, whereas the standard deviation squares the individual uh, deviations, the, the mean deviation takes the absolute value. Now here, let's do our STDEV just to, to remind ourselves how to do that. Equals STDEV, open parentheses. Click at the top uh, of your data set, control shift down arrow, and enter. Now let's do AVD equals AVDEV. Highlight the same bit of data, that top bit of data, control shift down arrow, and then enter. And there we have it, 12.92, the average or the mean average deviation as compared to standard deviation. They give you different numbers, but if you're doing all your calculations with uh, the mean deviation, you can then can compare them and tell which means more fairly represent their data. All right, we'll see you next Excel trick.